This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. The 2012 Louisiana Legislative Session begins with Governor Bobby Jindal outlining his plans for education and retirement. So how could that impact agriculture? I'm Avery Davidson with that story ahead. Also, the Louisiana Department of Ag and Forestry is claiming victory as it finally wins the war on this little bug. And in Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Kitchen, this month's slam dunk recipe got the attention of a Louisiana basketball great. Hello everyone, I'm Michael Dana. Thanks so much for joining us. The 2012 Louisiana Legislative Session enters its third week and the battle over Governor Bobby Jindal's education plan continues. The governor unveiled his plan to revamp the state's education system and its retirement system before a joint session of the legislature. And since then, both have faced an uphill battle. But as this week in Louisiana Agriculture's Avery Davidson tells us, the governor's plan could impact agriculture. Ladies and gentlemen, the governor of the great state of Louisiana, and Honorable Bobby Jindal. For the first time in his second term as governor, Bobby Jindal walks through this crowd of senators and representatives. And when addressing those lawmakers, Governor Jindal wastes no time in getting down to business. I don't stand before you today to brag about the last four years, but rather to talk to you about the challenges we face in the next four years. This administration's most important priority is education reform. Our second priority is pension reform. It's that second priority which could impact Louisiana's farming community. Jindal says his plan to reform the state's retirement system would reduce the amount taxpayers contribute to a state employee's retirement to only one-third, with that employee contributing the remaining two-thirds. It would raise the retirement age to match that of Social Security to age 67. And Jindal says rather than pay a state retiree based on an average of their top three earning years, instead base it on an average of their top five earning years. Jindal says all of this is necessary to reduce the state's unfunded actuarial obligation, or UAO. We've got an $18.5 billion UAL. That is going to grow by $3 billion by the end of the decade if we don't do anything. We spend $2 billion a year of taxpayers' money on retirement systems as we speak today. And the reality is this. If we do nothing to reform our retirement systems, there are really only three options ahead of us. One, we'll be forced to break our promises to employees. Secondly, we'll be forced to make drastic cuts in health care and education. Or third, we'll have to dramatically raise taxes on the people of Louisiana. And I'm here to tell you, as your governor, I'm not going to allow any one of those three options to happen. However, this is how those reforms could impact agriculture. Many LSU Ag Center employees who are already eligible for retirement may choose to leave now rather than be forced to wait until age 67, or they may leave now if they stand to lose money once the reforms are in place. Regardless, it's that kind of debate that will keep even seasoned legislators hard at work. It'll be a tough session. Um, the national economy, the world economy doesn't look good. But I'm not a prophet of gloom and doom. We've been able to manage Louisiana's budget in the past. We're wonderful in, this, in the measure of a balanced budget. The tough part will be keeping it balanced. At the state capitol, I'm Avery Davidson for this week in Louisiana Agriculture. The legislature is set to adjourn June 4th to keep up with all of the bills affecting farmers and ranchers. You can sign up for Voter Voice. It's a free service for Louisiana Farm Bureau members. You'll find a link on our website, twilatv.org.